Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I wanted to address a couple things. There's been a lot of comments I've seen where people are talking about once AQ World Infinity releases, AQ3D is going to die. Before directly responding to this, I'm going to showcase the differences between these games. There are some similarities with the games. For instance, they are both very grindy games. There are some familiar maps as well, like to class trainers, for instance. There are several enemies or NPCs in both games that are similar. For instance, Acroloth. There are several Acrolothes in AQ Worlds. And you will notice several other items or pets or things that connect the two games as well. That being said, there is a vast difference between the two games. First of all is the fact that AQ Worlds is a 2D side-scrolling game and AQ3D is a 3D game. Combat is also vastly different between the two games as well. This is something that is a big difference between the two games. AQ3D has far more hands-on-ish combat compared to AQ Worlds. There's also a major difference between the two games when it comes to the art style. The art style is very unique to AQ Worlds, so much different than what we get in AQ3D. There are pros and cons for both games. Now, some of the cons that AQ World currently faces, this will not be an issue in AQ World Infinity. And one of those is, of course, the frame rate, because in here you've got like 12 frames per second. And in the new AQ World Infinity, it's going to be running at a smooth 60 FPS, even in combat up against ultra bosses and stuff like that. Another location where AQ World really shines is the amount of content that it can get. And I mean, there's 14 years of the game being alive and going. So it does make sense compared to a game that's only six years old, six or seven years old. So there is a difference between the two games. Obviously, it's also much easier to make games. I mean, sorry, to make content for AQ World currently because it's only on one platform. But getting back to the question, will AQ World Infinity kill AQ 3D? I don't think so. The two games, as I have shown in this video, are vastly different from each other. Even though there are similarities between the two, there is so many more things that separate it. No matter how amazing the graphics get in a 2D game, some people are just not comfortable playing that style of game and they would prefer the 3D elements. And then there's people on the other side of the fence that prefer this art style and just can't get used to what it looks like in AQ3D. I'm going to be playing both games, which might seem like I'm biting off more than I can chew, but the development of AQ World Infinity is not going to be as fast as AQ Worlds because they have to make sure that everything is compatible for all three platforms, iOS, Android, and Steam. This is something that's not going to be as easy as just flipping the switch and making it happen. So the content is not going to be pumping out as quickly as we think it's going to actually be pumping out. You should be able to cover the content that has come out and still be able to play AQ3D on the side. So if you are playing both games, you're still going to be able to do that without being, you know, limited in real life time. I ran a poll on my YouTube channel asking people if they were going to play AQ World Infinity when it releases. 42% said yes, 16 said no, 20 said I'll try it, 7 said maybe, and 15% said what's AQ World Infinity? Smokey502 made an interesting point saying that he's never played AQ Worlds and he's thinking of giving it a try, but he's upset that items that were not available to him because he's never played AQ World will be in the new version in AQ World Infinity and he won't have access to these items. And I've seen, this is not the first time I've seen this. I have seen similar comments to this as well, where people are saying you're going to have all these items that people won't have access to. And this is true. However, you could technically IODA those items and then obtain them anyway. So, I mean, it is a possibility, but it's not something everybody can do. That being said, rare items in AQ World really don't have much value because you can IODA them. So the only items that have any real value are ones that you can't 
IODA. But if you are able to use an IODA to get those things, then there's really little value to it, minus the cosmetic value. But rares in general, there are so many, I mean, on a weekly basis, we get rare items. And so, I mean, it's not like rares have any form of value. Whereas on AQ3D, rares have value because they never return. So if you get a rare item that doesn't look like any other item in the game, that is a rare, valuable item which will retain its valuableness. Here's another comment that says, if you're playing that sort of game style, then you would already love the game. As for a person looking on the outside, he's 100% not interested because the game graphic style isn't the style he's interested in. And this is what I was talking about. People who play 3D games are more interested in that compared to 2D games. But if you grew up playing AQ Worlds or Adventure Quest or Dragon Fable or Maple Story, you're used to that style. So you could actually play that style of game. I grew up, that's what I grew up playing. This person said, no thanks, AQ3D is better. Again, another person with that aspect. I would still say, for those of you that have never tried AQ World, and once AQ World Infinity comes out, I would say give it a try, because it is vastly different than anything you've played, unless you've played MapleStory or the original. The 2D nature of the game should help the battery life, is what another person says. That might be very possible, although there will be particle effects and other animations in it that might not be so good for the battery, so would have to wait and see. But anyways, it is kind of interesting seeing the results of the poll. But that is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and keep those swords swinging. Thank you.